All the realms will be destroyed. And everyone in them. Get to Emma. Make her believe again. You have to fight. This is it. Once upon a time, the two-hour season finale, next Sunday at 8, 7 central on ABC. Was anyone else really not blown away when they watched this trailer? I watched it many, many times. And by the way, very sorry for covering it, you know, a lot later. I normally cover it right after the episode aired, but I, uh, I wanted to get to bed after the episode ended last night. So I figured I would cover it this morning because I had some time to do it. But my point is, I wasn't blown away by what I saw here. It doesn't seem like a series finale or in all fairness, even a season finale. It just seems kind of blah. But that's just the trailer's fault, not the actual plot. I just don't think the trailer was cut properly enough in order to give me the anticipation that the final battle is coming. Other than the word final being popped up on many title cards at least two or three times, I would say the trailer's kind of a fail to at least get me excited. Now, I will be thinking about the episode for the week or during the week because, you know, it's the final battle of Once Upon a Time, and I also want to know if we're getting a season seven, so I want to know if this trailer is improperly titled as season finale or series finale. And actually, I have more to talk about the series uh, in another video later today. But just the way the trailer's cut, it's very, very boring, especially the part where Regina goes, all the realms are going to be destroyed. And if I had any control over editing, and I have no clue this episode's going to go, but I would have shown clips of people essentially in castles or brooms or forests just kind of watching the world around them being destroyed. Like, after Regina said that line, I would have flashed to Oz and see Zelina in her green skin, you know, seeing her palace be destroyed, seeing Aladdin and Jasmine have their, have, um, their palace be destroyed. I think that would have been very, very impactful. And I like the idea that all the realms are going to be destroyed. Like, that's pretty final. But I just don't think, you know, it's not cut correctly to give me that impact because then it's like find Emma and you just see her depressed and I'm actually really curious you know why she is so depressed like that's like the Black Fairy's curse because apparently it separated everyone except for Emma and Henry and now I'm really curious as to why Emma would still be in the land without magic because technically she was born in you know the Enchanted Forest so she should have been transported back there unless the Black Fairy's curse is like some type of funky caveat that allows her to um, keep Emma there. And then Emma burnt the storybook, but I'm not 100% sure why the burning of the storybook is significant other than the fact that it might be showing that she gave up. But, you know, it's not like they're in the book. God, if they're in the book again, that'd be awful writing because that would just be repetitive, which I which I don't care for. But imagine if they were in the book and she burnt them. Oh God, that'd be so horrible. But, you know, she the shot of her burning the book, I guess is supposed to be like the, the impact shot of this trailer. But it didn't blow me away because it just looks like she's sad. And then, you know, uh, Snow says, go find Emma. And I think she's talking to Hook because, you know, Hook, Hook's probably the only way to kind of wake her up unless it's Henry that can do it. But if this season finale or series finale is Henry waking up Emma or giving Emma confidence and having Henry being the lead, I would be very disappointed in that as well because I don't need another finale where it's focused on Jared Gilmore. It just it doesn't work. Um, I feel like the last couple finales he's got in you know, season four and season five, he's gotten the spotlight. And with this being the final battle, Emma versus the Black Fairy, I don't think Jared Gilmore is actually even relevant to the plot, minus giving his mom a little bit of confidence. Also, speaking of the Black Fairy, another horrible thing about this trailer, she's not in it. How can you cut a trailer where it's Emma versus the Black Fairy and not have the Black Fairy take part in it at all? Like, it, it's just, it's cut very sloppily. It's very sloppily cut, and I'm not a huge fan of it. There's a shot where Emma is with Rumpelstiltskin, so I'm really curious if uh, Rumpel didn't get transported back as well. I'm wondering if, only, if it only transports back those the Black Fairy hates, which essentially would have been uh, everyone except Gideon and um, Rumpel, and Emma's there because he wants Emma, she wants Emma to suffer, and she probably doesn't care enough about Henry. But again, the Black Fairy isn't in this trailer, so I'm like... What is going on there? And also, what is Emma and Rumpel's deal going to be if there is a potential deal? So I'm really curious with the way the episode is going to, you know, be structured. It's a two-hour finale, and, you know, it's supposed to be this big battle, and the realms are supposedly collapsing, but we don't see the impact of the realms collapsing in this trailer, which I guess maybe they're saving, but at the same time, maybe they don't have the budget. Who knows? But if you're going to say a statement just as big as um, all the realms are collapsing, we need to see a little collapsing. So... 
I mean, overall, I wasn't wowed by the trailer, but that's just because it's it's not cut correct. It's it's not uh, very well done. There's been better trailers once upon a time. We've seen this. The Black Fairy trailer, for example, was very very good. We've discussed um, we've discussed that in detail. The musical episode trailer was very very good. This trailer, not so much, which is unfortunate because it's the final trailer for season six. So anyway. Um, I'm curious where the episode's going to go. I'm looking forward to it because I want to know what's going to be happening with, um, Once Upon a Time, excuse me. I want to know how all the story's going to be wrapped up. I hope there's a happy ending at some point, uh, in the episode, but just the trailer itself, not my favorite. I just think it needs a lot of work, but it's done, so I can't really critique it beyond that. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the trailer. I think there's a lot to come from this episode. I really hope... Um, there is a, a little bit of a battle. I think that would be impressive. And I am looking forward to seeing the results of the Black Race Curse on a mm, pretty big level. But at the same time, the trailer didn't uh, excite me anymore. So share your thoughts in the comments below and we'll talk real soon. Bye, guys.